Good morning. Today is Tuesday, January 24th, 2023. Yesterday, I learned that the planet Venus is moving into the sign of Pisces this week. And any of you who know anything about astrology, and uh, by the way, I don't, I'm just I'm still very much learning, but you'll know that Venus is exalted. That's a, that's an exalted placement for Pi, for Venus is Pisces. I have this placement in my natal astrology chart, and I learned yesterday that Maya Angelou also has this placement, and I thought to myself, well, that makes sense. That's clearly one of the reasons why I feel such a kinship with Maya Angelou. And I always have. I think, I guess I became aware of her in high school. We read I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, which was great. I really got to know her a lot better when I watched her Oprah's Master Class episode, which was beautiful and insightful. And one of the things I remember from that episode, I think it was in context of um, she was expressing that her, she was with her mother when her mother was passing away and she, she told the story of kind of setting her mother free in that and setting her free from some of the burdens that her that her mother was feeling of the, of her past and letting her know that it was okay to go um, but Maya in that episode said some words that I've never forgotten and probably won't forget. She said, love liberates. It doesn't bind. It liberates. Gosh, I so much relate to that. And I feel it is an expression of this Venus and Pisces energy. I feel so often a true understanding of love, how do I say this? I don't want to be harsh, but <laughs> some of us are throwing around this word love as though we understand it, but in truth, love is unconditional. And I'm going to say, from my perspective, love is the action of the creator. And it is available to all. And it, is, it can be made manifest through all. And in some ways, I'm going to express this, it sort of feels like you become it. When you're in the frequency of love or it becomes you, perhaps that's a more clear way to express it. But when you are as that, it is, it is given and expressed to all of creation, to everyone and everything you see. Perhaps because, you know, when there's an astrological transit, um, it, the frequency kind of becomes available to everyone depending on how it relates to your natal chart and all that. Again, I don't, I'm not an astrologer, but perhaps that's something we can all contemplate this week is recall when we have a sense that we have truly been in that frequency of love. Maybe we'll feel it this week. And then feel when you start to apply a condition to it or get bound up in, well, I love you, but dot, dot, dot. And that's when you are moving out of the frequency. There's another sort of Pisces idea or Venus and Pisces idea that I wanted to share from a really beautiful and profound poem that 
Maya wrote for the inauguration of U.S. President Bill Clinton in the early 90s. The poem is called On the Pulse of Morning. And it's amazing, the whole thing. Uh, I'll, I'm just going to read one stanza for you, and then if you're interested in it, I think you you can look it up and find the full text online or probably find a video of Maya delivering the words at the inauguration on YouTube. But this is a, a stanza written from the perspective of a river. Here we go. Across the wall of the world, a river sings a beautiful song. It says, come, rest here by my side. Each of you, a bordered country, delicate and strangely made proud, yet thrusting perpetually under siege, your, arms, your armed struggles for profit have left collars of waste upon my shore, currents of debris upon my breast. Yet, today, I call you to my riverside. If you will study war no more, come clad in peace, and I will sing the songs the Creator gave to me when I and the tree and the rock were one. Before cynicism was a bloody sear across your brow, and when you yet knew, you still knew nothing. The river sang and sings on. Isn't that wonderful? I think I'm going to end today's contemplation with a question. What do you know? And how do you know it? Can you prove what you know? Have you known love? Prove it. Is there a source to creation? How do you know? Isn't there? How do you know? Do you have to prove things to know? Do you have to have data? Do we all have to know the same things? Thank you for letting me uh, share this today. Seems pretty coherent, but I guess that's just where I am. Maybe I'm in the Venus and Pisces energy. Um, I don't know, I'm really feeling it this week, so I'll leave the contemplation there for today, and I will look forward to connecting with you all again tomorrow. Hope you have a good day.